Hi there, Crafter. This is Cara Benchy, and I'm Cami. Welcome back, and welcome if you're new. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any future videos. Okay, so it's been a hot minute since I recorded my last video. Uh, we've been in the process of building our house and of course everything else going on around the world. But I'm so excited to be back and be able to share my projects with you guys super easy. Okay, so today we are going to be making this Dollar Tree apothecary kit, actually a cabinet. Um, I chose to do only six little drawers, but you can expand it or make it smaller. It is um, not a big deal. You can hang it up so you don't have to put the feet on it, or you can just stand it up on a counter. It's great for keys. You can put buttons in there. You can put little uh, beads or whatever you need to store. I have uh, glued on little pieces on the inside so nothing will fall out. And so I am super excited to show you what that process is like. Okay, let's get some supplies and tools and I'll see you guys in just a minute. I decided to stain my apothecary cabinet a darker wood color to make it look more rustic. And I'm using a piece of cloth to apply the stain to all inside and outside of the little boxes also switching over to the foam brush to get into those tight corners. Once those pieces are dry, I'm trying to pre-assemble the boxes how I want them to go because they're not the same height and I don't want it to be wonky once I glue it together. I tend to make a mess with the glue, so I'm using a small wood applicator for the wood glue, therefore I can control the flow a little bit better, and I am clamping each piece as I go. Um, also wiping down any excess glue that oozes out. The original design of the box has a little wooden cutout in the front, which is extremely cute, but it is not what I am looking for. I have these wooden sticks that are much wider than regular ones. I picked them up from Michael's and I'm going to glue them with wood glue on the inside of the box, each and single one of the drawers. Um, I don't want to glue them on the outside because I don't want it to make it too thick and the drawer not slide all the way down. I'm repeating the same process for every single one of these little drawers. I also found these little cube packs at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just staining six of them for my feet so they can match my cabinets. I'm using the same cubes for my drawer pulls. I am just painting them white to make them stand out just a tiny bit more.
Once everything is nice and dry, I remove all of my clamps and then stain the inside and outside of the sticks that I have attached. The pieces that have a little bit of glue spillage on them don't want to stain, but I really don't mind because that's just going to be the back side of my drawer. So really nobody's going to see it unless they pull out the drawer all the way. I turn my little cabinet upside down so I can attach the feet and I do so with some wood glue. I'm attaching the drawer pulls also with wood glue and I'm using one of my little sticks to measure how far down they go but the side to side I'm kind of eyeing I don't want them to be perfect I want them to look rustic Once all the feet and the pulls dry, it's time to assemble our little apothecary cabinet. So this part is kind of funny. I didn't label any of my drawers that go with the little outside boxes. So I had a bit of a hard time trying to figure out which one goes in which one. Notice they don't all match. So I'm trying to go one by one and figure out which one can actually slide in. Well, there you have it. Our little apothecary cabinet with full out drawers is all set to store some keys or little doohickeys, whatever you choose to do with it. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you soon. Bye for now.